Hey, it's Juan for Pedals and Effects. I'm here with Dan Elkin. Dan plays guitar in Zavala's, and we met on the Hella Mars Volta System of a Down tour. Dan played keyboards, guitar, and sang. Yeah. Yes. Samples. Don't forget the samples. Samples, yes. And that was one of the greatest tours I've ever been a part of. It was fun to watch Hella every night. They smoked us half the time. <laughs> They were just... What happened the other half? The other half, we smoked you dudes, <laughs> obviously. Mars Volta. But anyway, so this is Pedals and Effects. Dan is really unbelievable with sound creation. And I don't mean it just because he plays in Zavala's with us. It's really... All my friends, they make noise when they hear about him. They spill my picks. Anyway, but I don't know. Um, but Dan is really, really great at sound creation and so I really feel it's important to at least get a little bit of segment in him he'll be on pedals and effects in the future and we'll talk about other sounds that he comes up with but I am interested in wanting to understand your love for the cathedral can you um, talk to us about it well yeah that's actually an interesting subject um, you can pick it up and show okay. them they, they probably would like to see here's it. the cathedral I fell in love with this pedal um, a few years ago, actually, Broken Bells Tour. I needed a reverb that I could have a bunch of different kinds of reverbs saved. That's what this pedal has. And that's the thing that I think still holds up about this pedal, is you can store store different reverbs in here. You, know, you have uh, like a custom sound for each uh, type of reverb. And so you can store that. But the one nice thing that this thing does have is the reverse reverb, which is not something that's on a lot of reverb pedals. Right. But why it's funny you bring it up now, because I'm currently falling in love with this one. Yes. Context and reverb from Red Panda. Who also makes one of my favorite pedals. Oh yeah. The particle. Yeah, and this one is blowing my mind right now. It doesn't have the reverse reverb, but it really holds up against the cathedral. It might even be Oh, I wouldn't Not doubt sure. that. Not sure. So I know that there's a few pedals that you have on your board that I, I always see on your board, and I will go to it right now. That's the Tube King. Please tell us about oh, yeah. the Tube King. Okay. Well, I don't use um, overdrive pedals, actually, um, except for this one. But I, I, use, always, I always use two-channel tube amps, mostly Marshalls, almost exclusively Marshalls. But I do use the Tube King all the time when I don't know what amp I'm going to be using on tour. Because this is the only overdrive. It's a tube overdrive. It actually has a 12AX7 preamp tube in it. This is the only overdrive I've found that sounds like an amplifier at all. And that's just my opinion. But yeah, my favorite pedal, it's, it's a 90s Ibanez Tube King. I think they recently started remaking these a few years ago, but I haven't tried them out. But there's two different kinds of overdrive and a distortion. But these 90s Secret ones, weapon. So it's almost weapon. like, for anybody who knows me, it's, it's like my CS2 Boss Compressor is, um, is my little secret weapon that I almost always have it on. And your Tube King kind of sounds like that. I also know that you love that Boss Delay. Yeah. Um, and it is a great sounding Best analog one. delay. Best one. I always use it for a short delay, just the slap back. Or you know, messing with the knobs and stuff like that. But this is this is my favorite delay. And the D, you prefer the DD6 over the DD5 Boss Digital Delay? Um, <clears throat> let's see, the DD6, um, I love, but I only love for one reason. I don't think they sound very good. I got to be honest. Um, if you want a good digital Boss delay, it's an old DD3, Mij, made in Japan. Um, but these actually for digital delay sound really good somehow. These don't sound great, but the thing that they have that none of the other DD series have, not even the DD7, is a little function on here called warp. And uh, I'll let you discover what that is. Yeah, but it's you know. I've it's seen an you use it. Switch I've seen you use it. We'll have you in pedals and effects, and you can show some of it. So I also noticed this giant box of pedals that seems like somebody gave you some new stuff. Oh yeah, I got some gifts. And what is that? These are all Earthquaker devices. We love them. Um, it looks like you have here, the seahorse out. I'll just talk. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the the most straight ahead Earthquaker pedal right here. Because I'm, this, I'm, this is a, 
one of the more underrated pedals is a nice, solid, clean boost. And this pedal, I don't know how they do it. I talked to Jamie about it because I've used a lot of different just line boosters. I don't know how he did it, but somehow this is an incredibly clean line boost. And I love it. It's underrated to have one of these. Awesome. So that's Dan Elkin. We're here at East West Studios cutting the Zavala's record. And you can tell that he's just went through a couple of these pedals, but he has probably like, I don't know, 40, 50 pedals here to choose from and about 40, 50 guitars behind him. Um, but anyway, thanks for having, uh, or thanks for being on pedalsandeffects.com. Thank you, Juan.